Well, got this thing off. That goes right there. This has got to come off. Rusted distributor has to be marked and come off. And now I've got a wasp in here. Don't leave me alone. Get, motherfucker. Coil's got to come off. Injector's got to come off. All this stuff got to come off. I got to pull the intake. And it's all under the floor. Try and get the valve covers off. So I can clean them, take the rocker arms apart, push the rods. I got to go all the way down to the head gaskets. This exhaust manifold is loose. I just got to put the impact on it and drive it really quick to get the bolts out. This side I still got to do. And coils got to come off. Linkages hoses it's quite a job not the first time I'll show you the rest <clears throat> sent a motor home actually living it at the shop <sighs> distributor cap barely new had to change the wires Clothes, sensors, so the first thing I had to deal with was putting the starter in, up in here, below there, below that exhaust, on the other side of the rail there, this brakes good. This caliper had to be changed. The master cylinder up in there had to be changed. And it blew a brake line. I can't show it to you, but it's up in there. And the main thing was this rubber line. That's new. That's where I'm at. Getting ready to tear down the front of this. I've also put in two batteries brand new one for the house one from the, for the running motor that's why i haven't made any really good movies lately dealing with this this thing only has about twenty-two thousand on it it's worth rebuilding I just hope uh the heads aren't warped or a crack in this driver's side head. I can tell it's pretty nice looking for the age. It's a 92-454. Anyway, that's what I've been up to. Over and out.